And... Patoom! Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Who's That Anime with your host, Stephen Collin. We are here talking about Gantz. We're nearly there. We're nearly at the end. I'm happy. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) It's been a journey. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. That is a a statement. I I realize uh, that we forgot to give a content warning in the last episode. (laughs) So it's probably because there's less gross content, like really, really gross content. Well, last um, two episodes were fairly all right, considering. Yeah, I think uh, in this one, I will just say, hey, definitely, still content warnings. Um, abusive women, negative attitudes towards uh, different genders, a significant amount of violence. If you want to watch other, uh, listen to other stuff, we have plenty of other things that aren't that. But just avoid school days. That's pretty much it. Uh, don't don't jump to school days uh, from this. You will not have fun either. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I just realised I missed a trick with the whole Gantz and your content warnings. I should I should have had us blurred out for the entire <laughs> <laughs> for the entirety of the episodes <laughs> of all the episodes for Gantz. Just... Uh we should you just like should have just covered our eyes. Like have it tracked? <laughs> oh, oh! I mean the the band, the, the like the Jap- eye band, yeah, the, the, the band, sensor, the Japanese eye sensor. <laughs> yeah, just like we're, we, you know, it's like well, I still know who that is. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, I was I was thinking more just like pixelate our images. Oh, like we could be like those dark people in the corner and have the muffled voices like this. Yeah, I don't want to reveal our identities about stuff. Yeah, when we're ratting out the other people. <laughs> right now, the manga industry and anime industry. Um, oh, talk about right now, the anime manga industry. They hear about the Bandai Namco. Oh, wait. Uh, is this the thing where they were like putting employees into like rooms of maybe you should quit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because that's they're, a, they're not that's allowed wild. to, apparently, not allowed to fire people or, or something in Japan. There's... I mean, it's really hard to fire people, I think, without good providence. Yeah, they were basically put into circumstances where uh, they they made it so that maybe those people would want to leave themselves. Yeah. I, I mean... don't think that's gone down too well. <laughs> no, no, they, they denied it, I believe. Yeah, like, uh, constructive <laughs> dismissal is a, a term that people band around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh, like there's an episode of Seinfeld about that, too. Yeah, where they they give George a job and like put him in the basement. <laughs> oh jeez, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it'd work for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you mean just stay here? Yeah. Uh-huh. I, and what? What do I like? I don't know. You don't really have any responsibilities, or uh, all right, just just like be here. I'm so allowed, many hours a day. I, I don't like to. Br- <laughs> What what am I meant to bring, kind of bring things into the room? Is it just like you just get locked into this like uh, proper padded room so you can't hurt yourself? <laughs> I mean, they have to let you out, obviously. Otherwise, uh, I'm sure the authorities would be involved at a different level. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, at that stage, it should, if they were just wanting to like commit illegal acts, it would be like we really want these people to quit, so we decided to murder them. I mean, that's that's a bit different from quitting. We're just threatening them with their lives, you know, dangling them over a very yeah. high high uh, building. And say, do you want to continue working here? I mean, yeah, it would work, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that would uh, that would certainly work to a level. <laughs> and then, well, and then they still say no, and you just kind of like drop them, and then stop them just inches before the ground. <laughs> I mean, 
it's yeah. Why not? Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking of Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, ba- Batman's good at that ledge drop and shit. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's get back to it. Let's get back on track. Back yeah. to Gans. We're, we're gonna be talking about episode twenty-one today and twenty-two. First off, episode twenty-one, brother? Question mark. Oh. Uh, we left the last episode uh, Hulk Hogan. where. Hmm. Hulk Hogan. Oh God. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I've watched that Vince McMahon documentary. I don't need to see any more Hogan, brother. There's a there's a meme that says <laughs> it's like just a picture of Hulk Hogan with a big zero uh, on a sign, and above it it says days since Hulk Hogan said uh, said um, since Hulk Hogan said something embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, <laughs> what a guy, uh, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> just leg dropping your problems away. No, I was I was more actually like, think of uh, that Dragon Ball episode where there's that that one character is going, all right, oh. brother, <laughs> the little green guy. Yeah, little green guy, <laughs> brother. You're my brother, brother. Oh my god, we said brother. <laughs> like uh, we should really do a brother count for that episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for us or for that. I mean. Both. Uh, yeah, like, I'm I'd sure. like to see what was more. I think it might um, be an hour episode. <laughs> brother. <probably. laughs> well, in this episode, brother, uh, we've just continuing on from the part where um, Sakuraoko and Kato have basically dragged K out of the, the temple where he had had his leg melted off and his arm cut off. Uh, yeah, he's looking in pretty rough shape. Um, I think it kind of starts with uh, the well, the end of that episode basically starts uh, is with them kind of uh, putting tourniquets to the wounds and mm-hmm. you know trying to keep them alive long enough so that they can maybe complete the mission. Yeah. Um, but K- but that he, he has other other motives. <laughs> K is like shoot me, shoot me, <laughs> K- kill, kill me. I don't need this anymore. Yeah, shoot me and uh, cattle. I think it ends with Cattle pointing the gun at him. It does. And and yeah, here we we see that he actually kind of follows through on that, but not not the way that you would anticipate not the way that Cade wanted. Mm-hmm. Um he basically I think because I think the suit the suit protects you from the gun, right? It, yeah, to a degree, but he shot the leg. He shot the open wound yeah. on the leg. Yeah, so it, it allowed it to basically destroy the end of the wound. And mm. stop it from disintegrating more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the Buddha statue, or what or is it, follow them, mm-hmm. actually leaves the temple and follows them out. <laughs> it does. <laughs> well, well, the two guys that escaped earlier from. Nope. Um, oh, God, that's right. H- Hojo and. Uh, the two other dudes, the two non suited dudes. Yeah. Uh, who I can never remember the names of, <laughs> but yeah, that that statue is basically standing at the door. And they're like, "Hey, <laughs> pull guns on it." Yeah, because they get the suits now. Yeah, we've got our suits now. We can do this. Yeah, yeah. It's a small one. We can deal with the small ones. Yeah, well, it's smallish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, de- dealish. They don't really deal very well with it. No, because it. It's got like its medallion that can reverse time or something. Yeah, they 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 fire. Mm-hmm. It does not work. Yeah, as they'd hoped. Oh, uh, it, I think it hurts the, the sniper the sniper gets involved too. Yeah, the sniper gets involved and then uh, and it didn't work. And then they kind of get chopped up by the sword. Well, on the ground, <laughs> their hands get cut off. The hands yeah. with the guns get cut off. Oh, yeah, that's and then they're like, "Oh no!" And then the head comes off the the thing, and the sniper's doing his business. And then we get the greatest comedy beat in all of this, which is them picking up their arms that still have the guns in them and like trying to reattach them <laughs> to, to the arm. stumps. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "Oh, all right, <laughs> they're not the smartest." No, no, they are not. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't just reattach limbs with good thoughts. I mean. No, <laughs> no, no, you can't. Um, 
uh, and the sniper is sniping away, and then, boom, it's got a laser from a lantern. It, it does, and he, uh, which is unexpected. <laughs> yeah, but the, the sniper guy dodged it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Until he didn't. Until he didn't, and then he got him, and he died. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, and then... Oh, those other guys die. The other guys die. I can't remember. Is that, was it just... I don't remember how, but they die. I think they got another <laughs> sword to the got the sword to the face when they're putting their arms back on or something. You might be right, actually. Yeah, something happens there. The most memorable part of that is them trying to reattach their arms. So <laughs> yeah, that was it. Uh, and then both of them, not one yeah. of them, both of them. Yeah. Uh, so the save K because got rid of the acid melting his leg. Mm-hmm. Uh, cattle basically goes alright I got this keep an eye on K I'm going to finish this off and he runs off uh, and then the thing comes around the corner and uh, sees Sai protecting K and Sai's yep. like right I've got to do this but she gets all serious because she got her hair down now out of the bun uh Yes, although it gets cut out of the the bun. Yeah, yeah, uh, and then uh, she basically kicks box the thing. I said, like, "Yeah, I, I'm going to win." Oops. She does pretty well. <laughs> like, yeah, she's, she's, doing, she's doing, she's doing, she's doing pretty well. Yeah, and then she says, "I'm going to win," and then it just like, "Oh, you know what? I've got this laser slice." Remember that thing I had that just like shockingly moves at the speed of light, and it's really difficult to avoid. And well, really, really sharp. Yeah. So it 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 it's it's actually I I I don't mind the way this is done. I think it's actually quite like it is actually quite impactful because mm-hmm. like immediately when she says, "I think I could win," mm-hmm. you're like, "No, like that's it. You've you've like that is the death. That is the I I'll be right back." Yeah. Moment. Uh, it, you you have condemned yourself to that, and it's the because it just goes through in a line, mm-hmm. like one straight line, very solidly and stably, yeah. directly through her heart. Yeah. You're like, right. oh, it goes up the way. Well, uh, well, then it just goes. <laughs> it just like cuts right up the top, and you're like, oh, oh, that that's that's fatal. Yeah, that's when she brings the gun out. She's about to shoot. It. Yeah, but she didn't. She got hit by this laser. She did. Uh, and then it kind of leaves Kay alone. And Kay's like, "I'm not good enough. I'm already dead, eh?" Well, yeah. <laughs> it looks at him and goes, "Eh." <laughs> <laughs> it just abandons. It's like, come on. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because I think uh, she's already said to her Kay about picking up the book. Like, hey, yeah. if something happens, I need you to pick up the book. Yeah. Um, you know, I, if I don't get a chance to read it, I'd like it if you would. Yeah. Um. So obviously, that's that's going to be his impetus to try and push himself out of this situation one way or the other. Yeah. To stay alive at the very least. Um. The book is uh, quite important. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Seems quite important. Yeah. Well, we're not. We'll stopped, get there. We're not still stop talking about that book. <laughs> no. Um, and then, obviously, Kato has basically gone to get the, because they're not sure about killing the thing. Mm-hmm. They they can send it away. Mm-hmm. So they've obviously, uh, he had that gun, mm-hmm. in the t- the smaller temple. So he went back to get it, where he then ended up facing off against, the one of the other rogue statues. Yeah. Uh. He- uh which he then beats to a pulp. <laughs> yeah. Takes him down. Uh, yeah, he gets real angry. Uh, no leg drops, though. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. No leg drops. No, no leg drops. But still, he gets very angry and, and deals with that situation yeah. as best he can. Um, yep. Uh, and then... Does he meet them outside or something? This is where he then goes back to. Kay? He finds that uh, K is still alive, just because mm-hmm. he slaps him awake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like fucking come on, 
Does that work? Like what? slapping people awake. <laughs> slapping people awake. Slapping people back is. Uh, I suppose. Yeah. Why wouldn't it? I mean, it's probably getting worse um, head injuries, but. It, yeah, it's like because you're kind of like falling asleep and you can you can get slapped awake while you're falling asleep. You know, no one ever done that to you. It's like Stephen, Stephen, I hear something I outside. Mean, Stephen, <laughs> get hold of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe at some point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he he wakes him up and he's alive, which is a relief because of course he's also seen that that uh, Sakuraoko say is is. Sai is dead. Yeah, she has not. She has not made it. Yeah. Um, so he, she had that sword at one point as well. Uh, oh uh, no, she kicked the sword. Oh no, the sword got kicked into the wall, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, she managed to kick the sword into the wall, and it's like, yeah, I'm winning. <laughs> then, then she wasn't. Then she wasn't. <laughs> Are you winning, son? <laughs> yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I am dying. No. Um, and yeah, he he pulls that out the wall and goes to. To hunt it down, yeah. effectively, uh, which he does. He mm-hmm. successfully finds it. Yeah, um, and he's uh, he's there. He gets into combat. Yep. Uh, uses the uses the sword. Yep. Cuts it open a bit. Yeah. Uh, pretty pretty cool. No, did he? Yeah, he yeah, cuts he the does. head off. He cuts the head off. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it kind of falls forward towards him. Oh, the cells are not. It- it's not been melted a bit or somehow. Uh, it got acid on it Don't. from her. Yeah, she kicked the acid onto it, which melted half of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, because she saw so, saw the 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 vase getting the, the, covered out. She's like, ah, not yeah, this time, like, uh-uh. son. Kick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, he. Uh, I think like he cuts it, and then it kind of falls into him, like it's dying, mm-hmm. and. Uh, d- no, wait, no, no, sorry. It climbs out of itself first because that it, this is where it gets, gets weird. Oh no! no so she uses the gun on it. Yeah, he, and, and he thingies it and it tries to send it back up. But it's the statue that is uh, basically is targeted, and not the thing inside the statue. Because it's like, yes, I've done it, <laughs> and then it's like, no, you haven't. As it like squirms out of the statue, this yeah. green thing. Which... The statue has just vomited some sort of creature. Yeah, which turns out to be one that of the, guy, the, the guy, one of the guys, the 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 psychotic one that was talking about the eyes being everywhere. He's like, "Hey, it's no. cool." No, no, I'm a guy, isn't it? Is it another guy? It was a uh, other guy. It was like the salesman guy, the one that was like, "What about that statue? Are they not them?" And then, and then into oh. the sky. That's that guy because he he kind of disappeared. I think. No, you're right. You're right. Uh, you're right. Three episodes ago, he was like the one who found all the statues jumping out at them. You are totally right. I forgot about him. Yeah, well, uh, that's because he's not been talked about for a while. It's because he's forgettable. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but he does extol the virtues of hey, it's cool. Like, it's you me. know, um, it's me, but I'm the thing. Yeah, and, you know, like it's pretty pretty great. Yeah, uh, and and I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, <laughs> some weird alien uh, lizard thing. Yeah, he's got like he looks like a cross between uh, the lizard man from Spider Man and Goro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I suppose. And and the Yi dinosaur. <laughs> it's more the Yi dinosaur, I think. Yeah. Yeah, for the face. Definitely, definitely, ye dinosaur. Ye. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, so they have a fight because he's escaped to get transported to yeah. wherever they go. Uh, it's yeah, it's it's fairly even to start with, but mm-hmm. uh, then then it's less even. <laughs> where he's getting <laughs> he's getting punched real bad. Yeah, yeah, but. Did he get a gun, or did he get the sword, or something? And he cuts he... his head off. I think he uses the sword again, oh. and like impales it. Yeah. Um, and it's like cool, and they kind of like, like I was saying earlier, they kind of fall into each other, like that kind of 
yeah. final moment type thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, because he's going to be up and then he finds the sword because he got knocked out yeah. earlier. And he started yeah. chopping his chopped the arms or hands off because they were really quick. Uh, yeah. And then he's like, all right. And he chopped the head off. And then it's like, cool, I'm dead. Oh, you know what? I still got oh, this no. tail. <laughs> Folk. <laughs> right through the chip, like through the stomach up into the chest type thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's like, oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Um. Because it's, it, of course, you're like, well, hopefully, though, like that thing is going to die and the game's going to be over, right? Yeah. And, and and then it's not. No. It, it, it is this like, it's wild to me. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The whole thing, like, because I think, I don't know. It, it's almost like Kato is like K's. He's he's like the Jiminy Cricket. Oh. You know, like a problematic Jiminy Cricket who's. <laughs> angry and violent, but wants to be better and knows better and knows that other people can be better. Mm. She's like a bit of a guiding star and him dying is just like, oh, that seems like a bad thing for Kay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Oh, he does die. He does. Uh... I, I, genuinely quite shocking, I think, mm -hmm. as a moment. Well, I mean, um, it's pretty much all the main characters are dead except from Kay. I think that is quite a like. Obviously, we we talked about this before the show started as well. Is that the this this saga this um segment of the the manga is where it 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 it's kind of followed everything right up until there. That's all been what's in the manga, and then mm -hmm. at that point, once we leave this temple, it diverts into its own area. Uh, yeah. So, sort of like I guess like the original Helsing, what it did, where it like kind of vaguely followed the manga for a little bit and then just <laughs> free wheels for quite a while because the the manga wasn't written, and it's probably the same for for Gans actually. Now that I think about it, um, looking at the dates, yeah, probably because uh, that's what the guy did back there. It's like, oh, this is a cool thing. We'll make it to a, a show. Oh, Too soon. oh, we're <laughs> we're <we're-> out <laughs> content <laughs> far far too quickly. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, maybe not. Maybe they did have more content because it's it's two thousand actually. Well, maybe like say, it looked it like takes it time though. Uh, potentially, maybe just wrapping up. Yeah, um, it takes time to develop a my uh like manga anyway though. So it's like, yeah, you know, and and the anime like so they're they're probably looking at having done it a couple of years before then, or at least starting then, ready for releases. So. Yeah, who knows? Like, uh, I don't know. Certainly, I felt like the last couple of episodes were hanging out to different shields to finish up quick. Yeah, it does feel a little bit like that. Yeah. And the, the, yeah, it's. But I think like it's. Uh, I, I don't always like it because I don't think it lands mm -hmm. all the time. But I do appreciate when shows will take hard swings yeah. and, and this is a this is a very hard swing there's a hard swing i like i like you say we've we, obviously k is the main character right he is the the, the protagonist of like well yeah the character it's the one that falls around the most yeah that's for sure yeah and 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 i still don't like him um but Kishimoto and Kato are sort of like they're there to emphasize the parts of K that you should like, like the yeah. parts that they see in him. Yeah, that she's like, you know, you are skillful and like you do care about other people, and Kato's like, you know, you you can you can lead this team and you can do different things and you can you're strong as a person. Yeah. There are there are things there that are admirable qualities, but we're very much still focusing on the negatives with him because it's hard not to like he he's not great no um oh, he's, he's... and uh, yeah he's a pest but now that they're gone <laughs> there's not an emphasis on that 
you know, yeah. there's there's no emphasis on those those positives anymore because he's he's a he's his own spokesperson now. Yeah. He has to be able to recognize those things in himself and like exemplify them, and not fall back on them and have other people point it out to them that that's the behavior that they need to see more of. It's like that that has to be his choice from now on, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think I think like the the most like obviously like well the, the end of this episode is is particularly hard harder hitting because obviously we Kato's last thoughts are of his brother who you know has been left alone after they've left uh, their aunt's place yeah and we kind of cut back to him waking up in that apartment that they'd managed to finally get yeah. with his umbrella that his bro- his brother had gotten and carved his name his initials into for him. Yeah, or we're getting and a lot of we, flashbacks of, yeah, of and, uh, him doing that through the last couple of fights, and and like throughout it, you know, it's everyone yeah. is reminding him, and I think like that's very premonition, I guess, premonition of, hey, we're we're saying that something here is, mm-hmm. it's it, this something bad's gonna happen. Like we keep telling you that this is important. Mm-hmm. As you said, it's like this is the this is the he's two days away from retirement level thing. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah, this is this sucks. Okay. Um, too old for this shit. Yep. And that kid uh wakes up, sees that he's not there, mm-hmm. searches for him in the rain mm-hmm. with his umbrella. Yep. And just doesn't find him. Yep. And I think the, the kind of last overtone of the voice is is that uh him just saying I hope you'll be all right, and I hope you'll be strong enough. Yeah, some along those lines. Yeah, and it's just like that's that's really sad. Yeah, even even Kay, who's lying half dead, knows that he's 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 the uh, cattle's died. He goes, "Oh, it's yep, it's it's crazy because when he obviously when they now that that's happened, now that the game is over." He's transported back into this room. I think it's that this is actually maybe one of the better scenes mm-hmm. in the the show. Yeah, it's him him coming back mm. alone. Yep, uh, I think I think he only gets eight points. He does. He gets a crummy eight points. Yeah, and then um, he's really pissed from, oh, pissed off with that. Oh yeah, so he shoots uh, Gantz in the face multiple times, and it does nothing. Yeah, um, and he walks away. But I think, like, that's, uh, I think, I, I suppose it's one of those things, like, I think on an emotional level, like, that must be, you know, bringing yourself to that of, like, you've been through everything with these people over, you know, however long a period this goes through. You mm-hmm. don't necessarily like these people. Mm-hmm. You might, but you're in it with them. That's yeah. it. Like, that's 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 what you have. Mm-hmm. Um, And going into that, losing everything coming back to nothing and finding out that you still only have 46 points total like that's it you you still need 100 to get out of this mess and huh. yeah not today though yeah. <laughs> that's that's crazy yeah yeah it, it's it's one one of the better uh, episodes again in the show. I think it's a real, a real strong one for me. Um, and it, it just ends with him leaving the, leaving the room. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. End of the episode. We do get like again, like I think as well as like it's maybe one of the the moments where we kind of see a little bit of honesty from him emotionally as well because he he properly breaks down. Hmm. He actually he cries because he's of of loss, like not yeah. a whining, like not a whining like he's done in the past. But this is like a a proper fuck. Yeah, yeah well, you were getting that in previous episodes when they come across the the, the humans and he saw his cattle breaking down, going, "The fuck? Why am I doing this for?" And he's like, "Yeah, shit. Even I have the this want to leave this life now." Because before totally. he was like, you know what, fuck it, I can I yeah. can do this life because <laughs> I I could be the murder alien guy because it seems I seem to be good at it rather than going back to life where it's a uh, scummy life where he's not really 
need or wanted. Yeah, it's yeah, it's 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 wild. I guess it's a it's a good episode. Yeah. Um, so what do you what do you rate this one? Do you think, Colin? Uh, it's got this emotional impact and stuff, like we said. It's it's good. It's fairly. I don't know. I'll give it an eight. I don't, yeah, I, don't, I think that's fair. I don't think that's ever go higher than that for me, to be honest. I I also think that's fair. Like I, I think I like I say I think this this and the previous episode, which I also think I gave a nine, I'd probably give this a nine as well. Like I think that continuation of that, the intensity, mm-hmm. and then the kind of eventual sort of emotional release of just complete devastation is really quite well done. Um, yeah, I think I said it before as well. It's like Gantz, um, I think is one of those shows where uh, I think is is it, it's it kind of middles a lot. Like it's not it's definitely above average. I think like broadly, mm-hmm. which I think is fair. But I think if you were just to get that lower quality stuff, you'd be like, ah, this is it's fine. Yeah. But every now and then i think it like when it hits it really does a good job of that and it kind of drives you and propels you forward to to do more to watch more so yeah but it really only happened at the end yeah i think there's like possibly uh, like say maybe why it didn't go anywhere yeah i imagine like most of it has been a weird downer it's only going to hit a niche yeah i think like I mean, I, the the other kind of emotional beats, I suppose, is things like like in the the bird, one the mm-hmm. ha- um, Honda San, mm-hmm. Yuzo Kun, <laughs> Yuzo- guys, yeah, uh, like killing the grandmother and the grandchild, uh, and killing Nishi, yeah, like those like those are, um, that that for me was another one where you're like, oh okay, like we've got, th- there's something to this that's that's um, more than just like, fetishistic about women or it's like more than just hyper violence and more than just like about how crummy life is it's like no there's some like deeper emotional connections in this which i think are are really interesting yeah (laughs) but that then leads us on to episode 22 Mm -hmm. Uh, don't ever say that again uh as the name of this episode don't ever say that again don't ever say that again brother um brother and this one this one is basically sort of the oceans 11 of episodes <laughs> where we're, we're building the team um oh are you in i'm in oh and if he's in i'm in yeah and he's if he's in i'm out you son of a oh. bitch i'm in <laughs> um oh, he's out i'm out well you said you were just in we're out Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is this is basically uh, like the, the second time that we're gonna. Of course, there's more of them this time, but we'll, we're building up our characters. So we have the the effectively, it's yeah, Kay's he's back in normal life, but it's time time to come back in, mm-hmm. and we're gonna see who the other people that he's gonna be coming back in with, and we have um, his homeroom teacher mm-hmm. who was having that affair. And ends up being stabbed by the, wife. the guy's wife. Yeah, which is okay. Uh, we then have a, a woman who has been stalked by a guy, mm-hmm. um, and she picks up the book. She has the book. She has the book. So, well, actually, cause... that is something we should say is that he does try to pick up the book. Yeah, but and fails because well, <laughs> <laughs> well, he couldn't really take it because he she needs to phone him, but he says, "Ah, oh, no, it won't happen." And also, yeah. it's not coming in until tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, but she has the book because Sai gave her the book. Yes. Uh, earlier, it says, no, it's okay. You can have this. Yep, that's right. She was the woman in the bookstore that got to that copy first. Yeah. So, yeah, she is uh, She is unfortunately stabbed mm-hmm. um, by her assailant who is hunting her down. Uh, we have the owner of the bookstore mm-hmm. who uh, is chasing a shoplifter. Yeah, the shoplifter. And... Sorry? The shoplifter. The shoplifter, yes. It's the just... one that continually does this yeah, yeah, yeah. every friggin' time. And he's like, stop, um, stop! And then he gets run over. 
He gets hit by a car by a woman who then drives away. Yep. Flies in the air. It's rough. Yeah. Um, We get a guy who rescues a young child from a a river rapid, like a a Mm. kind of out of control river. uh, Yeah. With the mother yelling to save the kid. And he he does. He dives in. He drags that kid back across to the the river's edge, Mm -hmm. pushes the kid up. And when he asks for a hand to help, the woman's like, "Eh." No, and, and then uh, a, a trunk, Log. a tree trunk, yeah. comes along, smacks him in the head, and that's him. He's the guy yep. that watched um, oh Tetsu do his gun stuff on the other side of the bank. That's right. He was the one sitting across the riverbank. Yeah, just watching all all Tetsu's dealings going down. Yeah, and murdering that guy and putting him into the river, probably. <laughs> you might see um, that too. Yeah, he may have seen that. Yeah. Um, then we also have uh, a salary man who is running away from people who he owes money to. Yes, um, in debt to He is barreling down to what looks like the same subway station yeah. uh, that Kato and, and Kay were killed in. Mm-hmm. And he is cornered and decides to take the road out by jumping in front of the... The train. Jumping in front of the train. Yeah. Uh... Oh. And then we have the, the, the psychopaths. Yeah, the psychopaths who were shot down by men in glasses. Uh, no, uh, t- probably quite important to say is is that they were rumbled because they were they had a woman dosed up on drugs, mm-hmm. nude and strapped to a bed, and he was beating her with a belt, going, "This one's not much fun anymore." Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Good, l- good uh, lord. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Wow. Uh, and yeah, they quite. I actually like when he gets shot. Like he just gets shot in the face and kind of goes <laughs> <laughs> and collapses. So yeah. he kind of gets what he deserves, and sadly then wakes up. Yeah. Uh, without any. So that issues. Yeah. Yeah. With without any issues, and and then I think that's the whole crew, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think that's the crew. Yes, and then of course, as before. Kay arrives in the room. Mm-hmm. Other people are there. Yep. And he's like, "Oh God, this again." And it's like, "Um, all right, all right, people, you gotta listen to me. Some shit's going to go down. This is going to open up. Put the suits on. Get your guns." And I'm like, "Hi, on. You're a homeroom teacher." <laughs> She's like, "Oh, you're the one who kept getting an erection in my homeroom." He's like, "Oh, thanks for that. Uh, hey, come here so I can talk to you about your affair." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. What do you know about that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, quite funny. Uh, and everyone going kind of talks about how they died. Yep. They they try to try to figure out a pattern. Mm. Um, because the the girl who has the book is particularly. I think she's particularly focused on that she's dead. She's like, no, yeah. I think I'm I'm dead. Yeah. Uh, well, everyone else is like, I died and. Maybe I'm dead, but I don't think they're sure. She seems convinced. I mean, she kind of turned and saw her uh, stalker stabbing her through her handbag. Well, that's another thing is, is we do get a lot of like weird flashes in this one. I think where like mm-hmm. Kay starts to see. Uh, well, of course he rec- so he no. recognizes his homeroom teacher. He recognizes the the shopkeeper, the shopkeeper, and he recognizes the the psychopaths. Oh yeah, yeah. But that's about it. He's like, yeah, yeah. He doesn't know anyone else. Yeah, yeah but he doesn't. But he, he but he has the the he has flashes. No, 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 no flashes until, um, until the next episode. Because it kind of just ends here. Tell the weird discussion. Uh, oh, I things. don't remember that. I th- I thought it was this one, but maybe you're right. No, I'm pretty sure it's 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 that because basically. No, like, you're talking. You're totally right. He shouts at Gantz to- and uh, basically, all right, Gantz, goes the deeds. And- <laughs> who, who are we? Who are we getting? Yeah, and, tell uh, us. And it's him. Yeah, Cor- Corona Alien. Yeah, I was like, the f- <laughs> and then it ends like that. So what are you on about, Gantz? <laughs> Gantz, what what's going on? <laughs> yeah, it's like what, what's his description? It's like something and horny, uh, desperate and horny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I just want to see if I can find the description because that's that was quite funny. Um, nah, can't find it. It was. I did. Dang. I did laugh. I think it was just the horny I, bit. <laughs> yeah, the horny bit was the bit that made me laugh anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, everyone's like, oh. Because he's he's just saying it's like it's gonna tell us something we need to hunt down and kill. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like, oh come on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> End of the episode. That's the end of that. Fuck. Uh, like I say, this is the the Ocean's Eleven episode. So how do you rate it? <laughs> uh, it just kind of reminds me of um, one of the episodes of Rick and Morty, where the yeah, he's the, got, to go, the... got to collect the team, but he only yeah, collects yeah. the team to. Go cool, get, get in, get in, or I can't remember. It was like, oh, he just he let's... wants it for a simple reason. Yeah, it, it just get it, does, it creates a team, and then they walk and do like the massive pose, and then that's it. Good, thanks, guys. See you later. <laughs> like, Good job, thanks everyone. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, uh, it's that's the uh, you son of a bitch. I'm in. Yeah, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that one, man. Uh, it's uh, it's it's a it's a pretty quick episode. Yeah, it's not much. It's like it's just basically introducing how the other people go into the room this time. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. It was an episode. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. Six, seven, some of that. It's there's I, not much in it, man. I think a a, a six is fine. Uh, I wish we'd spent a little bit more time dealing with. The aftermath. Oh well, you do of the last one. He, There's he, like a, a little bit of it. He's going around moping, man. He's moped. He is. I I, I, like, I guess this is one of those, but it's it's literally like five minutes. Yeah. At the start of the next episode. We we've just said goodbye to characters that've been with us for the previous twenty episodes. Yeah. So. But he's he's moping around like ah, uh, and then he's like walking along the street, and then the old ladies there is like ah oh, shit, it's time. Right. Yeah. Let's do it. There's, there's like this is kind of like I guess like a longer form version of the same shock that you get from watching Attack on Titan, oh, oh. <laughs> where they they spend the first four episodes introducing characters and then murder most of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, he goes to um, um, Kei's house. Kishimoto. Kishimoto's yep. house. Um, he does, and he tries to talk to her. Yeah. He says that. She looks like someone that he knew. That he used to that he used to live with. Yeah, um, and she's like, "That's weird. Did she have the same name?" Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh no, because she says her name. Is that how you know that? Oh, well, you used to live with someone. Yeah, and it's like creepy, and runs away. And you're like, quite right. And then he's like, quite right. That was an <laughs> awkward interaction. Kay, well done. <laughs> and then he's like. Fuck! If she's not wrong there, and walks away like that. I play that one. No, he definitely did. Yeah. Well, I I think I'd probably go to a six. I don't think this is a like. I think that the the balance of the episode seems a bit funny to me. Although I did like I, I like seeing the new characters and stuff like that. I always think that's interesting. But yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. I'd say it's take on six or seven, just because I think the end really kicks it in the nuts. Like oh. What's going on here? That's a good point, actually. Maybe, maybe I do want to like bump it up a notch because you're right. Like, I think that is, despite you know, um, this being the divergence between what the manga does and the anime, I actually do think this is kind of an interesting premise. Yeah. Um, So yeah, it's decided he's going to be the enemy, or something that looks like him maybe is going to be the enemy. Yeah. No. Oh, we we don't because he was like, oh right, I'm definitely not an alien. (laughs) I'm not. So. What's this all about, guys? Also, um. Yeah, I think Gans just really wants to kill him. Probably not wrong. Cause, you know, He's got those 46 points, can't let him get any more. Yeah, well, he also tried to uh, kill me. But it didn't work. Um, true, true. Yeah, so on that, that note... Yeah, end of the episode for today. Yeah. Um, we'll be back next time to talk about more Gans. We're on the penultimate episode. Mm. So, next time, oh, which yeah. is really exciting. Uh... We're using those, and yeah, yeah. I I wasn't going to say any more about it because I <laughs> I don't want to remember what the other ones are. Um, <laughs> but uh, we'll be back next time again. More Gantz. Um, 
Mm-hmm. And yeah, you've been listening to Who's That Anime, an anime podcast about anime, which can be found where all good podcasts can be found. Our home is at anchor.fm forward slash Who's That Anime. Uh, if you want to help us uh, with the show, then you know leaving a review is a super cool way to do that. Um, if you can't leave a review or have already done so, then telling a friend is another cool way. If you want to help support us financially more so, then we have a Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash who's that anime. Um, you can get early access to episodes of this podcast and our bonus podcast or additional podcast, Five Minute Fusion, A Journey Through Dragon Ball. We're at the stage now where we're going to be wrapping up pretty soon on Dragon Ball, at least on recording the episodes, which is quite interesting. So we'll be moving on to Z before the end of the year, I think, is the, the going yeah. rate. So, this, yeah. I mean, this episode will probably be about right about the same time we're ending up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, get time time to get in on that ground floor for Z, if that's your thing. Um, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Yeah. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Z. Uh, <laughs> we have a Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash who's that anime. We post the latest episode releases, the occasional anime meme. We have a Discord. You can find a link to that in the show notes. Uh, Colin painstakingly puts together video versions of these episodes at our YouTube channel. If you go to youtube.com forward slash at who's that anime, uh, all of the video versions of the episodes are there. And we also have the podcast RSS feeds hooked up to uh, that too. So if you like to use YouTube to listen to your podcasts, you can totally do that. They'll pick up in there too. I have also fixed the RSS feeds so they no longer decide to private everything, which is lovely. Oh, nice. I'm so glad I don't need to do that every morning again. Cool. Um, and uh, lastly, I guess, uh, Colin and I also like to play video games sometimes. Colin at twitch.tv forward slash couchfuel, myself at twitch.tv forward slash hail payman. It's been a long and time. And you can find archives hmm? all long, the time. Long time. Long time. Long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but there are archives of all of that stuff yeah. at, at youtube.com by searching for at couchfuel or at hail payman. And that is us. Yeah. It's been a long time. Do, 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 do. I don't know. It's a intro to Enterprise. Yeah, it's been a long road, I think, is the Oh, that's a long road. Well it has been a long road. It has indeed. And and we're getting there. It's nearly Wait, is this the penultimate you said? Next one. Penultimate. Next one's penultimate. Yeah, two more to go. Two more episodes of Gantz people. And boy, they're a doozy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They are. Yes. <laughs> I don't think we're getting there. I don't think Steve's pleasing them. <laughs> I, I I like it less from here, but hey, we'll talk about that. I <laughs> I think it's gone all a denty, man. Eh, a little bit. The, the maybe, a little bit. The maybe a de- it's a denty, isn't it? The one about the John Cusack and the car crash while they're carrying a criminal. Uh. Yeah, and he's no. It's the one where they're all in like this weird motel, and that's that one. Oh, is it that one? And he's yeah. He's talk- that's why they're in the motel. Yeah, yeah. And he's yes. He's- Don't spoil identity. It's a good movie. I think it's already spoiled, man. No, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Yeah, it's, it's identity is a great movie. Is it like a um? Oh, Memento. Uh, well, you, you can't really talk about it without ruining it. Yeah, don't don't ruin Memento either. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I remember that time when uh, <laughs> when I, when our one of our friends from the uh, uh our the, where we met the workplace we met. It's yeah. like on about oh man, Bollywood's first created a, an original movie where it's about this person and then he told us the plot and it's like ah oh, sh- that's just memento dude oh <laughs> that's just memento it's, uh, and it's like what no <laughs> yeah sorry man he what was a shame he was indian oh i'll have to oh it is but <laughs> so i bought him a copy of memento and i think i still got it <laughs> 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 here maybe you've forgotten about this which would be quite funny but if you haven't here's a copy of memento yeah <laughs> that movie i told you that other movie was like yeah yeah uh anyway 
we'll catch you next time, folks. Same army place, same army time. Uh, same army, still. Yeah. Only two more episodes. Only two more. Bye. Bye.